And here he comes. Look, I don't have to turn the horse in. He turns himself in. <laughs> Hey everyone, Katrina Stack here. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are just now tuning in, welcome. So I have a really fun video for you guys today. I'm going to be taking you along feeding all 70 plus animals at my farm and my house where I live. And I haven't done this in a long time, so I figured I'll give you guys an update on how everyone's doing and you get to meet some new people around the farm. Oh, there goes Delilah. <laughs> Also, during this video, I am doing a giveaway. I'm teaming up with Stephanie, my friend, and we are going to be doing a giveaway. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Hi, Katrina, good, how are you? Well, are good. you ready to talk about this giveaway that we're ready to do? Yes. Okay. I'm so excited. We're both gonna be feeding all of our pets right now. So excited. Yeah, the best time ever, dinner time. We are going to be doing a giveaway for a GoPro Hero 8, a tripod, two batteries, a memory card, a headset, and to enter, you have to subscribe to my channel and go subscribe to her channel, the link below. And also, to win, you guys have to comment in the comments, farm. The four letter word, farm. That's it, very simple. And then a week from today, we are going to be announcing the winner. Pretty so much all the guys at the farm get this green. Uh, I just have been using it for the last three years and all my horses really like it. And Neutrina is just a really good brand as well as all the protein, the fat, the fiber, everything comes with. Um, so like I said, my horses get this, which is Spear Bam, and I will show you guys. And when I say Pro Force Fuel, this is the green they get. And then two of the senior horses at the farm get Pro Force Fuel Senior because they're senior horses. So all the horses get a scoop of this, the Brewer's Yeast, garlic flavor. It just helps maintain a nice coat, vitamins, all these nice little things and all the horses seem to enjoy it in their grain so they get a full scoop of this in the morning time with their grain so what i do in my routine of feeding my animals i look at all the horses that are about to be turned in say hello spirit and bam they go on their run out stall check out little bam <laughs> you guys are both nuzzling me bam's like i'm hungry feed me sugar it looks like you don't miss any meals all right you need to be patient isn't that right spirit I will make their grain, which is a full scoop of Proforce fuel. And then the horses in the barn, which is Kojak and Henry's over there. He is actually using the restroom if you can hear him. But there he is. I prep their grain here and then drop it for them. So Spirit and Bam get one full scoop. Kojak gets a full scoop of grain and then Henry gets two scoops at night. And there goes little bunny. And like I was telling you guys, we are using the Brewer's Yeast. They get a full scoop in all their grain buckets. They all have their Brewer's Yeast in it, and I'm going to drop their grain for them so you guys can see them enjoy their dinner. I drop feed, and then I saw this. Tee! Did you make yourself a bed and Spirit and Bram say? You know how adorable. Your brothers are about to come in here and eat their grain and kick you out of your bed you just made, but it looks so cozy. Look, they're like, yeah, we're about to come in here. Oh my gosh. Here, are you hungry? Oh yeah, you are. Where's your brother, Bam? He's coming, hold on, check it out, wait one minute. Look, little Bam's coming. There he is. Hi, Bammer. Hi, Bam. T, you're about to have to, you know, get out of here and make a new bed. Boys, come on in. Open the gate, show them how talented you are. Come on. Oh yeah. Who's hungry? Are you? I bet you are. He gets a scoop in there. Wait, let me go grab your brothers. Yummy. Enjoy it. The bunnies are just so cute. I can't get over them. Oh, there's more. As for the cats at the farm, we just feed Iams healthy adult because the cats are full grown adult cats. So they get just a full scoop in the morning and at night in here. This is their little cat bowl and we dump it out in morning and night because we want them to have fresh cat food all the time. Kalush just heard me pouring up some new food for him. Some fresh kitty food. And if you guys can see his little left eye has a scratch in it. I literally just got back from the vet with him. Um, they said that he just has a scratch from fighting with other cats. The barn cats get along very well. So there is one cat that runs the roost in this neighborhood and always starts fights with all my cats, which is super annoying, but Toulouse is on medication that he has to get every eight hours in his little left eye. 
Does it feel better, buddy? But they said he was a great patient and he is super sweet. And they said that for being a barn cat, he is pretty hefty. So they said it was hard to believe that, but he does bunny hunt around here. So, and then there's little Tilly coming. Tilly's looking at the old cat food. Oh, she doesn't even care about it. And Henry's like, feed me. Look at the bunnies going into my feed buckets that I have set up for the horses. How cute are they? They are just so adorable. I love them. Hi, babies. You guys like the horse grain? Better than your bunny food? But there's one of the bunnies. There's Tilly. Henry's still trying to get out of his stall as always. But we keep this stall door open so the bunnies can come in and out of here since it's cold at night. And they have a lot of hay in here and little shelters, but we just feed them generic bunny food in there that you can get from Tractor Supply. Nothing special. A full scoop for in this stall. We'll spread it out like do some in here, half in here, and then some over this way. He definitely looks like a wild rabbit. But it, this is his home. Hi, little hen. Look at the bunnies though. We have so many at the farm. They're so adorable. Hey, bun. We probably have like 15 bunnies here. And it's very hard to keep the population down. Bunny's like everyone's favorite at the farm. They call them Grummy. And then Tater and BP. I love this bunny. This is like my favorite bunny. Look at sweet little Tilly. I describe her as a Sour Patch Kid. She's really sweet for a little while, and then she becomes sour. Hi, Mama. Isn't she so pretty, though? So Doc is one of um, the horses at the farm, and this is his grain. It's pre-made, his owner makes it, and he gets Smart Light pellets, and then Smart Flex Senior pellets, and his grain, and Pro Force Fuel, which I showed you guys prior. And then this is the feed board and the back borders feed room. So all the horses, what they get, um, this is Leia supplements and Sassy supplements, which is a lot because they are older horses and the horses that get their senior supplements. And I'm going to make their grain and drop docks, which is pre-made, but yes, that's a lot of supplements. Oh, and there goes the door on me. So some of the supplements that Sassy and Leia get, I'm going to show you guys, you saw it on the board. But here is vitamin E. It's a powder that goes on top of their grain. I get these probiotic pellets. A scoop of this, which I will show you. So a full scoop goes on top of our grain. Last but not least, this, which is another powder that goes on top of their grain. And I mix their grain and dilute it with water so they don't have like really that nasty, all that taste. And then, oh wait, I almost forgot. The MSM, which is really good for horses and it's a joint support. And this is just kind of like a sugary. It's like, seems like it's sugar, but it's not really sugar. It's, it literally looks like sugar, but they each get a scoop on top of their green. Getting Doc excited, watch this. Watch. Oh, she just jumped the wrong fence. He's gonna jump another one though. Hold on, wait, let's see. Oh, can I get it? Docky, that was the wrong fence. He's gonna jump it again. Look. Pure talent, man. Watch, and he's gonna jump another one. He's gonna go feed himself. All right, let's see. And here he comes. Look, I don't have to turn the horse in. He turns himself in. <laughs> or just run the Doc, come in your stall. Come on, big boy. Hi, baby. Go, you're in there. Oh, Hi, <laughs> he's like, baby. I gotta open the door first. <laughs> Hi, baby. All right, guys, that show was pretty cool, right? Usually that's not how he turns himself in, so that's the reason why he wears a weight because he jumps all the fences at the farm and Coach Jack's like, yeah, he does. He jumps all of them. But that is part of my feeding routine is having a show because these horses are just so funny. And now I get to turn these guys out and then drop more feed for horses. So let's go. He's like, I'm gonna go roll. So after every single time he eats, he drops to the ground and rolls. Usually it'd be scary for a typical horse owner if they didn't know that their horse did it, but literally it never fails. After 
morning and night when he eats dinner and breakfast, he goes and rolls and then walks to the Larson's block or sometimes trots. So in this feed bag, I showed you guys in prior videos that Droopy has to eat out of his green bag because he gets turned out with Texas and Texas doesn't get green at night and nor does Ranger. So I turn a little bit out in the round pen and then I put this on Droopy so he gets all of his green and doesn't share it. So Droopy gets a full scoop of Pro Force fuel in this green bag and then a little bit as well which is my big Clydesdale, she gets two scoops of Pro Force fuel. So let's go drop their grain. So this is Little Bit. Little Bit gets two full scoops of grain in the morning and two full scoops at night. And I will just pour it right here and I feed her in the ring because Ranger would steal her grain, if not. So let's do that. I try to distract Ranger a little bit. Do the job for you. Sorry, buddy, you can't get any grain at nighttime. You only get it in the morning because look at that big belly. You're so chunky. You need to go on a stim fast diet. And then Tilly, always following us around. Fine, I'll let you lick it. You want to lick the bucket? Say please. All right. So part of feeding all my pets, Jackie's joining me. Say hello. Hi. We're gonna go drop green for a droopy in Texas. Go over there. Matt's working on I'm, new I'm fence work. Texas. <laughs> Texas will do that. Every single feed and then chase them. As you guys can see, the reason why this little bugger doesn't get green, because look at that belly. He gets it in the morning, as well as this equiox. If you guys can look in his left eye, he has a cloudy eye. He's actually permanently blind in it. When I got him from the kill pen, um, he came with it. They never told us about it and they never told us about his ring bone that he has. Here is our feeding chart as well. So you guys are kind of able to see it up close and what the horses get because it is a lot to memorize, but I got it down to a T. So I'm making the goat's green. It's kind of dark right now, but this is the part of the routine of feeding on animals. They get about three of these scoops, maybe four. It's called all stock. Let's go feed these goats. Pause. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through the goat pasture. What I'm going to do is try to distract the juice a little bit with some goat grain because he gets a little excited for girls to come into his pasture. bins all over the pasture so each goat can kind of have their own bin and have a little of their own separation of grain. Oh, Jesus, you scared me. me. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Jack, you have a meow. If you look over there, we have goat hay that we just lay out there for the goats and then I throw fresh hay for them under the pergola over there in the pasture that stays dry. All the goats are very healthy and fat, as you guys can see. Look at Pickles. I think she's about to pop, to be completely honest. And she looks pretty. But yeah, let me give some Kramer. I love the cream. Oh, I feel like he's gonna get buttered by Zeus. But that's it for the goat herd. We have, how many goats do we have here? I don't even know anyone. Seven. Yes, and Kramer will be living in my backyard here soon which I'm super excited. Oh, Jackie's sad. I know. Wait, you'll be over there. Jackie, you're pretty much gonna be living over there too. I know. Because over here we have the goats and then let's go feed all the chickens, ducks, guineas, peacocks. We have so many birds, so let's go do that. So in here we have lane mash and crack corn and we use this Tupperware to walk around and put it on the chickens and ducks pens over there, which you guys are about to see me do. Dinner time. Then, now we are about to be feeding all the chickens. We have a couple roosters, ducks, and there's no guineas behind me. But we have a lot of guineas over here as well. So let's go and start feeding. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Hi, babies. Look at the ducks. Everyone over here just happy. Some of the guineas hanging out. So in this chicken pen, we have the Polish chickens and someone's walking on top of the roof. 
But how cute are they? We're just gonna go ahead. <laughs> we just going out of there. I don't know. I think it's the guineas. Oh Hi, baby. <laughs> Look, they're already roosted and ready for bed and dinner. Oh, in this pen we have Rhode Island Reds. They're our newest chickens, and they're all babies. Well, they're like they're like juveniles. We'll call them. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour their food in here. So in here guys, I don't know if you can really see because it's dark out. I should have fed earlier. But right now the time change has been jacking up everything. And here we have four peacocks. How exciting is this? So I'm gonna drop their feed for them, which is right here. They get a special peacock grain and, but we don't know if they're males or females yet, but we are really excited to have them here at the farm. So for dinner time for Benelli and where's Delilah? Delilah, what are you doing? I should have find her. Delilah, where are you? Probably because, oh, she's right there. All right, so back to what I was saying for dinner time for the girls, Delilah gets, I always leave this out for her. Um, she gets a full scoop of it, and then I still haven't added it yet, but see, that's from her breakfast. So I will just top it off with the hard food and then in the fridge. This is her fresh pet. I top the food off with this. So I will give her a scoop of that real quick. Off with a full cup of this, of the fresh pet, I just like this food and I like to give them a little bit of a selection and she really loves fresh pet. As for Benelli, I give Benelli two cans of Beneful Incredibites. This is literally the only dog food she'll eat. So I give her two cans of that. I already poured it out for her. And then I'm going to top off Delilah's food with the fresh pet. Delilah has the best manners, don't you? See, I'm just kidding. No, I don't. I have terrible manners when it comes to eating because I am a hungry girl. But I topped it off, so let's bring her over here. And Zyla, can we sit? Sit. Good girl. Stay there. And then Benelli. Usually we'll stick her nose up to this when I try to feed her dinner. I separate them because the feeding. Oh, is she going for it? Yeah. She really likes the blue kind, which is beef, carrots, and all of that stuff because they come in a four pack. They have a pink, orange, and blue. And she really enjoys the blue, which is beef. She is a beef kind of girl, or maybe I spoke too soon, but that is her favorite. She will eat it when no one's watching. Nelly, you were so spoiled. Go eat your dinner. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you did, you guys know the drill. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on that post notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a video, and also don't forget to enter in this giveaway. It's a GoPro Hero 8, and in a week from today, we are going to be picking the winner. So stay tuned.